Begin checkout event is very crucial when it comes to Google Ads dynamic tracking because it tells your algorithm what kind of items the user has added to the cart and initiated the checkout process with. So by the end of this video, you will see how you can configure the conversion tracking tags and how you can write the data layer script that will trigger this begin checkout event on your Shopify store. However, before jumping into this, we need to make sure that our Google Tag Manager container is properly firing on our website. So let's just get over to my Google Tag Manager account and click on this container ID on the top right corner. This will give us two different codes that we need to add on our Shopify store. The head data layer script and the body data layer script. Let's just copy the head tracking code and go back to our Shopify store and under online store and themes, click on this action button with the three dots and then go to edit code. Now this will take you to the back end of your website where you have access to all the codes and you can modify anything that you want on your store. So we, we want to make sure that our Google Tag Manager head container code is right below the head opening tag and we need to do the same for the body tag. So let's just copy the body container code and go back to our Shopify store. We can do a control F to see where the body opening tag is and then hit next. For me, the code is on line 294. So I'm just going to create some space and paste the code right here. Let's hit format liquid and save this file. Now just we need to make sure that our Google Tag Manager container is properly firing on the website. So we can go back to the Google Tag Manager container and click on the preview button. The preview button will basically open a temporary debug session where we can see what kind of events, tags and triggers are firing on our website and we can monitor the data layer object. Once we connect, this will connect this temporary pipeline with your website and using this Google Tag Legacy Assistant Chrome extension, you can see that our Google Tag Manager container is properly firing on the website. On the bottom left corner, you can also see that the Tag Assistant has been connected. And if you will go to the debug view, you can see the data layer and all the events are properly coming in. So that means our Google Tag Manager is properly firing on the website and we can move to the next step of adding the data layer scripts. If you will go to the description of this website, you will find this blog post where I have written the section three, where we can find the code that we need to add on our website. We need three pieces of scripts. One is the head data layer code. Then we need the checkout data layer code. And at the last, we need the theme data layer code. So let's just start from the first one and then go down. Let's copy the head data layer code and go back to our Shopify store. To make sure everything is really consistent, we are going to create some snippets in Shopify store. So right under the snippets folder, click on add the new snippet and we can name it exactly as in the blog post. So head data layer and create done. Let's paste the code that we have copied from the website and now we need to save this file. Let's copy the next code snippet, which is for the checkout data layer and copy this code. And on our Shopify store, we are going to create another snippet called data layer checkout. Once the data layer checkout has been created, we can paste the code that we have copied from the website and hit save. Now, the last thing we need is the theme data layer code. So let's just copy that. And on our Shopify store, let's go back to the theme section of our file. And right below the opening head tag, let's paste this code and hit save. Now, this should properly trigger the begin checkout event on our Shopify store. So let's just go to any of the pages that we have connected with the debug window and see if this begin checkout event is properly firing. For me, I am just directly going to the card page because I can see that there are some items already added in the card. Let's hit begin checkout button to see if the checkout event is properly triggering on the website or not. Once you click on the checkout on your debug window, you should see an event called custom begin checkout. And this should have all the details of the items that were in the card. It has the quantity of 14 and the price and the other one was six and the price was 124. Perfect. Now we have properly added the begin checkout script on our Shopify store. So we can move to the next step of adding the conversion tracking tags in our Google ads. But before doing that, we need to make sure that we have actually created the conversion in our Google ads account. So let's just go over to our Google ads account and create the conversion action first. And then we can have the conversion IDs and the conversion labels to create the conversion action. Just go to the goals of your store and click on conversions and summary. This will take you to the page where you have access to all the previous conversion that you have created for your store. Once you're on this page, just click on create new conversion action and this will take you to the page where you can create your new conversion action. Since we are dealing with Shopify and Shopify is a web platform, let's just click on the website and this will take us to another page. For this section, this is basically trying to see if we have any kind of Google tags added on the website. So let's just get the URL of our website and paste the URL in this Google ads link and hit scan. It does not matter which URL you add as long as it is your website's URL. We don't want to use an automatic conversion. We are going to create a manual conversion because we are using Google Tag Manager for this one. 
Since the category is begin checkout, we can also rename the event to begin underscore checkout, making sure that it is consistent with Google Analytics for naming convention. You can name it whatever. You can also name it uh, begin checkout. It does not really matter. Which, since we are also going to send the value parameter, so we can select the value here and all the settings can be determined by yourself. Let's just hit done. And now we have created the begin checkout conversion action. Let's just hit save and continue. And it will take us to the next screen where we will have access to the Google ads conversion ID and the conversion label. Since we are using Google tag manager, let's switch to that and we can see the conversion IDs and the conversion label. And now we can go to the Google tag manager container to create the tags and the trigger that we need to create this event. So let's just head back to the Google tag manager container and under the tag section, let's click on new. Since we are dealing with Google ads account, we need to make sure that our conversion linker is firing on all pages. It's just like a configuration tag that we used to have for Google Analytics 4. So let's just select all pages and add a conversion linker. Conversion linker can be found in the Google ads tag. This is just a required tag that we need to have on all the accounts. Let's just rename it to Google ads conversion linker and that's good. Now we can start creating the tag for the begin checkout event. Since we don't want to fire the begin checkout event on all the pages of the website, we just want to fire it on the begin checkout custom event. So let's just create a custom trigger for this one. For this custom trigger, we are going to see the event name that is begin checkout and copy the event name so that we don't make any kind of spelling mistakes. And let's rename this tag to custom event begin checkout. Once the trigger has been created, now we can create the Google ads conversion tracking tag. Click on the Google ads and then select conversion tracking. You will see that it requires two different things. One is the conversion ID, then it requires the conversion label. If you go back to the Google ads account, here we have created the conversion ID. So let's paste the conversion ID right here. And then we can select the conversion label and go back to our Google tag manager account to add the conversion label here. To send the value and other e-commerce parameter, we can refer to the data layer and see what kind of parameters that we have. We have the value parameter inside e-commerce and we also have the value parameter inside the currency one. So let's just select the value parameter and add it right here. Since they are the data layer objects, so we need to make sure that we are creating the specific data layer variables. So let's just select the data layer variable right here and rename it to e-commerce, e-commerce dot value. And let's rename this to DLV e-commerce dot value. And we need to do the same thing for the currency parameter. So let's just create another data layer variable. Since our currency parameter is also under e-commerce dot currency, we can do the same thing. Let's do e-commerce dot currency. And let's rename this one also to DLV e-commerce dot currency. Perfect. We can hit save now. And now we have added all the things. We can also send the items array by which Google ads will know that which kind of items are being viewed on our website. So let's just click on the product data layer section and in, you can manually add the data layer of items or you can select the data layer object right here. I usually like to do with the custom fields so I have more control on the objects. So let's create a third data layer variable for the items array. We can rename it to e-commerce.items and let's rename the whole variable as DLV. DLV stands for data layer variables. Once we have created this and everything looks fine, let's just save this tag and do a test conversion to make sure everything is working all right. We can name it as Google Ads Conversion Tracking Begin Checkout. And let's hit save. Perfect. Let's just click on the preview button again. Since we have made some changes to the Google Tag Manager, we need to refresh this debug session. Once this debug window has been connected to our website, we can go back to the cart page again and click on this checkout button to see if the checkout session is starting properly. Once you click on the button, you will see that the custom begin checkout event has fired and it has triggered the tag. If you go back to the website, we can see that the conversion tag has fired properly and it has all the details of value 24,708 currency is PKR. And if you will go to the URL section, you will see all the other details about the item names and all the item values. So these are the, all the items arrays that has been sent dynamically to the Google ads account. Now all the changes we have made are still in the draft board. So we need to make sure that all the changes we made are live. So let's rename this session as the names because I am editing it and we can name it as Google Ads Conversion Tracking Begin Checker. Perfect. Whatever we have done is really not going to work if you don't have the remarketing tag configured for, for the begin checkout event. So if you want to make sure that your conversion tracking and your remarketing tags are properly configured, watch the next video.